30th of July 2022 top 5 morning headlines Pranay Verma appointed as India's next high commissioner to Bangladesh Asia Cup 2022 shifted out of Sri Lanka to United Arab Emirates Singapore emerges as the top country with highest FDI in India in free 22 Gujarat becomes first state to launch semiconductor policy Zimbabwe launches gold coins as legal tender to tackle inflation Pranay Verma appointed as India's next high commissioner to Bangladesh Its officer of 1994 batch Pranay Kumar Verma has been appointed as India's next high commissioner to Bangladesh He is currently serving as India's ambassador to Vietnam Verma will succeed current high commissioner Vikram Dore Swami Simultaneously Sandeep Arya an ex officer of the 1994 batch has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Vietnam Asia Cup 2022 shifted out of Sri Lanka to United Arab Emirates The Asian Cricket Council on the 29th of July 2022 announced that Asia Cup 2022 has been shifted to the United Arab Emirates from Sri Lanka due to the political and economic crisis in Sri Lanka. The Asia Cup 2022 is the 15th edition of the tournament or will be played between August 27th to September 11th 2022. A total of 6 teams will participate in the tournament. Asian Cricket Council President Jay Shah Singapore emerges as the top country with highest FDI in India in FY22. Singapore, the US, Mauritius, the Netherlands and Switzerland have emerged as the top 5 countries for foreign direct investment FDI inflows into India in FY2021-22. Singapore has emerged as the top sourcing nation with a contribution of 27.01%. While among the states Karnataka and Maharashtra emerge as the top two states in receiving the highest FDI for free 2021-22 Gujarat becomes first state to launch semiconductor policy the Gujarat government on the 27th of July 2022 announced a dedicated Gujarat semiconductor policy 2022 to 27 With this, Gujarat has become the first state in the country to have a dedicated semiconductor policy. This new policy offers a slew of incentives and subsidies to manufacture semiconductors. The policy was announced by Gujarat CM Bhupendra Patel. Zimbabwe launches gold coins as legal tender to tackle inflation. Zimbabwe or as central bank has launched gold coins to tackle the soaring inflation in the country. The coin is called or quote Mosioya Tunya or quote which refers to Victoria Falls in the local Tonga language. The coins will have liquid asset status so that they could be easily converted to cash and locally and internationally tradable. The cost of one coin was $1824 at the time of launch. PM Modi lays foundation stone of IFSC HQ in Gandhinagar. PM Narendra Modi on the 29th of July 2022 laid the foundation stone of the headquarters building of the International Financial Services Centers Authority IFSCA at the Gift City in Gandhinagar Gujarat IFSCA was established by the Government of India to develop and regulate international financial services centers in the country It was established in April 2020 Boft approves signing of guarantees for hosting FIFA U17 Women's WC. The Union Cabinet, chaired by PM Narendra Modi, has approved the signing of guarantees for hosting the FIFA U17 Women or S World Cup 2022 in India. The tournament is scheduled to be held across three cities Bhubaneswar, Goa or Mumbai from October 11 to 30, 2022. It will be the 7th edition of the tournament. It will be the first time that India hosts a FIFA Women or S football tournament. Mao signed by Ankan I to boost inter-island connectivity. And Mao was signed by Andaman Nicobar Command Ank or Airport Authority of India I in Port Blair on the 28th of July 2022 to boost inter-island connectivity and the Udan scheme. As per the Mao, naval airfields at Shipur in Diglipur in North Andaman and in Campbell Bay will be utilized for civil operations. Passenger flights will connect Port Blair directly to Diglipur and Campbell Bay.